All right, we're out at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Barry. Um, they're looking to do a, uh, basically a remodel of the exterior. Um, and uh, according to uh, Mrs. Barry, basically wants to take it from a country home to a kind of a hill country, more of a look to it. So um, there are some existing sides that are hardy. Uh, we're not gonna do anything to those aside from repaint any windows and doors that are trimmed out in hardy. We're gonna repaint that color to match the color of the new fascia. Other than that, the Hardy is uh, is good. Uh, the people that installed it did it correctly. Uh, so there's really not any need to do anything further with it. Um, starting on the front here, we have these little half gables um, on the sides of the patio cover, uh, porch cover that we're going to uh, do in Hardy. Down below, we have this big bay window. This is all going to be Hardy. We're gonna retrim it. Uh, all those three windows, four windows in Hardy and then we're going to do the same horizontal colonial rough sawn siding down here that we're going to be doing upstairs and that's existing already. Uh, we are doing a complete fascia overlay. So we're going to this corner right here is really the worst area as far as being rotten. So we'll cut this out, uh, replace that with lumber and then continue on with the fascia overlay. We're also going to be doing a hardy one by two drip edge. Uh, they're having a new metal roof put on, um, so we'll have some incorporated drip edge. Um, after we get our hardy 1x2 drip on, uh, they'll have some nice new metal drip to go over that. On these front posts, um, two, four, five of them, we're going to wrap these all in hardy. We're going to repair any rot at the bottom. Some of them do have some, some minor rot. It's not really uh, substantial, but there is some, especially this first one with the downspout and the second one. Um, but we're going to wrap these completely in hardy. We're going to do a small 1x4 trim at the bottom just for some aesthetic um, and, uh, and basically eliminate them from having to ever fool with these, uh, these posts again. Look really nice. We're going to paint them to match the trim color that they're going to pick out. Um, on the door frame here, um, on the front door we can't really do anything. It's brick mold, but it is kind of that uh, teal color, so we're going to uh, uh, repaint that in the, the color of the new trim. Up top, um, we have basically five, six, two, well, one, two, three, four, five windows, depending on how you look at it. Those are going to be all retrimmed and hardy. Uh, the upstairs is part of the portion, part of our scope of work that we will be doing with the hardy colonial roughs on. Again, all fascia overlay. Everywhere we're doing fascia overlay and one by two hardy drip. Coming around the corner here, we will be removing. Uh, the gutters and then we'll have Chris McClendon from Long, Re Long Run uh, come out and reinstall them and they'll work directly with Chris uh, for the reinstallation of the gutters. On the right side of the home same thing here um, this area that half gable we're going to do in Hardy all of this entire second story on the right side we're going to be doing we have two windows that will have to be rewrapped in Hardy uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We do have some uh, conduit running up the side here in the back right. So we're going to pull that away from the wall, reside behind it, and then reattach. So it's nice and clean. Uh, no, uh, no Mickey Mouse work in terms of trying to side around that. Coming back to the rear right of the home. Again, we got some uh, fascia back here that we have to address. Comes all the way down behind this tree and then extends out into that huge uh, rear porch cover. On this wall directly facing me, um, again, this is not, uh, this has not been done in Hardy, so this will be part of our scope of work, including those two large windows retrimmed in Hardy as well. So this entire wall, let's see if we can get a better view of it. This entire wall will be done in the Colonial Roughs on Hardy, as well as the extending fascia all the way down here to the patio cover. We're not painting the underside of the patio cover. We're gonna leave that alone. The soffit, patio cover, uh, everything is in good shape. So there's really no need, immediate need to uh, address that currently. Down the line, maybe look at some paint, but right now it's in really, really good condition. This entire back wall below the patio cover, this is all going to be uh, the hardy, Colonial Roughs on. We'll retrim all four windows and the door in the hardy one by four. And then again here, we have six posts. These will all be wrapped in hardy with the same kind of shoe mold of the one by four hardy. 
And here's again, we have about three of them that are rotted out, pretty good on the uh, on the exterior of the wood. It's not all the way through, but there's some pretty decent rot uh, that you can see at the base of these these columns, these posts. Um, up under here, which is pretty much true wherever we have gutters, you can, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but we pointed it out on our walk around um, that that one by two is completely gone. So that's large part leading to the fact that, hey, if we're going to do this right, uh, we will replace the one by two drip edge with hardy one by two drip edge all the way around. And then, re, uh, you know, like I said, have the uh, homeowners deal directly with Chris to reinstall the gutters. Coming around back here, um, another important thing on this uh, the substrate we're going to use a basically a c channel flashing all the way down towards the bottom all the way here where it basically comes up to the uh the slab we will flash that so we eliminate any kind of risk of water exposure down the road so just kind of peace of mind knowing that it was installed correctly and that you're not going to have that uh, substrate rotting out behind the hardy but again this is the wall that has been done in hardy already <laughs> all the way up to the second story wall did a great job did the butt two application everything as it's uh, recommended they nailed in the proper spots uh, and even had the proper spacing on the colonial roughs on so they did a good job um, but we will have to repaint these two windows three windows on the second floor this door and this window right here we'll have to repaint all of that uh, trim to match the new siding color excuse me the new trim color that they choose and again same thing here fascia overlay all the way on the patio cover all the way up and along the second story line this wall again was done in hardy nothing to do here um, again gutters got to take those down and have Chris, Chris uh, replace them um, this wall here the garage wall was actually done in hardy as well what we're going to do is basically just wrap the garage door frame in hardy just to kind of complete that process um, so we don't have any kind of issues down the road of, of the garage door frame rotting out. Um, let's see back here. You can see the upstairs windows that will have to be repainted. The trim will have to be repainted on all three of those. And so here's the garage door frame that we'll wrap. You guys are you guys are in your own video <laughs> fantastic right and on the front here um, just finishing up this is the last area of just fascia again hard uh, the soffit existing is in great shape no need for anything there um, basically just uh, taking off this gutter replacing the one by two and then doing our fascia overlay and here you get a better view of the three windows up top that we'll have to repaint that's the uh, the only scope of work on the left side is mainly just painting and wrapping the garage door frames. So, Mr. Mr. Barry, we uh, we appreciate you guys uh, considering Southwest Southwest Exteriors. It's getting too hot. I can't talk. <laughs> we appreciate you guys considering us for the project, and uh, we look forward to working with you. Thanks so much. Bye bye.